Hello, welcome to the Mark Janad Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, every single PHP application is affected. It is affected because of this new vulnerability uh, that I believe it is um, the CVE 2024-2961. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, what PHP is and the vulnerability and how we can protect ourselves for uh, you know if we're using php so without further ado let's get right into it we're going dark so let us first start off by saying you know what is php right so php is uh the recursive acronym uh the hypertext preprocessor, and it is widely used uh in, in open source general purpose scripting language that is especially suited for web development and can be embedded into html so you know again instead of you know lots of commands to output like the you know like you know html uh php contains uh you know like php pages contains you know html with embedded code that does you know something in, in you know in this case like a you know uh hi i'm you know i'm a php script and peter you can put that on the screen that example uh and what distinguishes PHP from something like, you know, the client side JavaScript is that the code is executed on the server, generating HTML, which is then sent to the client. The client would receive the results of running that script, but would not know what the underlying code was. Uh, you can even configure your web server to process all your HTML files with PHP. And then there's really no way that users can tell what you have, you know, up your sleeve. Some of the, you know, one of the best part of uh, using PHP is that it's extremely simple for a newcomer, but offers many advanced features for a professional programmer. So, um, you know, don't be afraid. I know there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's like a long list of PHP features. Uh, you can jump in in short time and you can write, you know, simple scripts uh, in just a few hours. That That's how easy it is to use in, in, in this regard. So now let's discuss this vulnerability, right? <laughs> <laughs> CVE 2024-2961. So recently, the CVE 2024-2961 uh, was released, which identifies a buffer overflow vulnerability in GNU libc versions. Uh, that's like the 2.39 when converting char sets to certain Chinese extended encodings. Uh, this vulnerability affects PHP when the I con v is used to translate request encodings to slash from the affected char sets and has the potential to be wide ranging right uh obviously the best mitigation is to update to a patched version of the jib lib c however if you are unable to or it's not available on your operating system yet you can mitigate this issue by disabling the affected char sets in the g con v uh you know a lot of people were having a really hard time finding information on how to check for and mitigate this issue at the operating system level uh possibly because the researcher who discovered the cve <laughs> is teasing details about the php exploit uh because he has a talk at a conference right three weeks after the cve was announced so you know here are some notes that were collected and you know before we get into it please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button so uh this is how you can check if your operating system is vulnerable you can do and peter you can put that on the screen there is the the dd version you know the first line of the linker version info should include the version of the glibc either as the glibc or the gnulibc and you know we do have an example from the D Debian 12, and Peter, you can put that on the screen as well. Uh, that is, you know, that is the DD Debian, the 2.36, and that is from the 2022 Free Software version Inc. Right? This is a free software. Uh, next, we have an example, uh, same thing, but from the Rocky Linux 9. That's the LDDGNU libc, and that's from the 2021 Free Software version. Right? You can also, you know, uh, use your package, package, you know, your package manager to check, for example, the RPM, 
uh, the glibc. So if you're using the glibc 2.39 or older, then the ISO 2022 CNEXT encodings are vulnerable for your systems iConv and gconv, right? You can also check for bad encodings and you know you, you can check if your you know vulnerable codings are enabled in the icon v and you can see that by peter you can put that on the screen that icon v uh we have that example there and if there are you will see the output the iso 2022 cn ext right so if you see that then you know we need you know you, you have to do some action items and here are some you know here's a way that you can disable the bad encodings uh, you can modify the gconv modules configuration to disable the affected char sets you know and peter you could put that example on the screen that's the cd user lib x86 64 linux gnu gconv uh you, you know just also be aware that you know it, it might be slightly different in, in certain locations uh for ex exotic systems so you're going to want to try if that's the case you're going to want to do that find uh, slash and Peter, you can put that on the screen for those users so they can understand how to mitigate that. Uh, now we can uh, go into, we can disable the offending encodings in the gconfig modules config file. Uh, this will either be a gconfig modules directly or in something like the gconv modules, uh, the extra, you know, uh, con f. And Peter, you could put that on the screen as well. It starts with that CD, gconv modules.d. That's the example that we have for you right there. And then you can also remove the cache file if present. And Peter, again, put that on the screen. That's the RM gconv modules cache. Uh, you can generate that cache file using the iconv config and the eight in parentheses. You know, then you're gonna, then you can recheck for vulnerable encodings with with this example peter please put on the screen so they can see uh there should be no output from this command okay once you put this command on you should not see any output or that is no bueno and then action you will know that action items are needed and the last example on the screen peter please put on the screen is the uh you know for those who have docker images and here is the convenient docker file blurb and you're going to want to pay attention that the last line contains one of the you know favorite docker file tricks which is to check something and exit one true you know your docker build will fail if the vulnerable char sets are enabled okay so that's what i have for you today please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button i appreciate your viewership uh do you have any other ways that we can check to see uh, vulnerabilities for this, you know, PHP situation. Uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Did I leave something out? Uh, good, bad, or ugly? Please let me know your comments below. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you on the next video.